uh, container there with our three VMs that we're currently playing with. Okay, let's get to the console with these guys. There's one there. There's one there. So we've configured the V-switch with jumbo frames. We've gone into Viata and we changed the MTU on the network card that was facing the V-switch. We need to do two things on here. We need to ensure that Windows XP has taken the new network card driver um, because kind of logically it's like we've removed the network card where we had an old kind of uh, PC net adapter from um, I think those were ISA adapters as well from AMD you've removed that and then you put in a brand new 10 gigabit network card almost um, and so we need to check that the drivers have been updated and all sorts of things so let's check to see what it's done There we go, we can see there that we have our VMNet 3 Ethernet adapter. Now there's something a little bit confusing here. If we have a look down here, it says a speed of 1.4 gigabit, but we're expecting 10 gigabit. That's why I've labelled it like that. Um, the bug that you're seeing there um, is a bug with Windows XP, 32-bit um, version, and it'll also happen with Server um, 2003 as well. Okay, so let's do um, the final change needed. And if we have a look through the properties of here, somewhere in here should be a little switch to flick jumbo packet. At the moment, it's uh, MTU of 1500. We want to set it to 9000. And then do the same over here. And that's not even the right box, it's somewhere down here. Wait for that to fix itself. Okay, uh, let's see what we get now. So we've got the server set up. Although that's not currently working, let's see if we can find out why. Oh, it's my bad, I was launching in the wrong order. Okay, so we have our server up now. Over here. And this is our client. So let's launch it now and see what we get. There we go, 1.26 gigabits a second. That's a massive improvement from what we had before. What we had before, we were getting, what, 500, almost 600, and we've effectively doubled that bandwidth. Um, let's do it again, um, but this time what we'll do is we're going to check CPU, CPU usage um, to check that um, we are hitting CPU usage and we're not hitting any other roadblocks. So let's go here to do Task Manager. Let's go over here and do task manager. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Like that. Let's do the same over here. And then one last task manager. And that won't work because I need to be in that. Okay, so VR to Task Manager. And then we have these two here. Let's run it again. Uh, okay, so we can see that our Windows XP machines are pretty much maxed out. Maxed out. Uh, and there we can see 
Well, actually, our Viata box isn't loaded out at all. In fact, we can tell that simply by I can um, hazarding a guess at the reason why we're having a decrease at that particular point in time um, is because we're using processor power to generate these little CPU graphs. Yeah, it's definitely hitting um, the limit of what it can do based on the CPU power that it's currently being given. Okay, um, so that was kind of the the optimizing um, and the setup of the lab. Um, we've been pretty successful today. Not only have we set up um, this machine and this machine and then all the interconnecting parts, but once we benched it and we were getting about 500 megabit um, to 600 we could say, um, we then really kind of increased it and optimized it by setting up jumbo frames and setting up um, the VMX net type on our guest VMs so that we can now get one gigabit a second going through our Viata box. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and I hope to see you soon.